So this is a video update on Sunday 13th of October. So it's been one month since last video and this month has probably been the most hectic month. Now to keep count, it's actually been 10 months since I started doing these progress videos and 10 months later finally things are starting to take into shape and this month, the month of September to October has been a very hectic week compared to the previous nine months. So there's lots to go through so let's have a look what has happened. Perhaps the most important or the biggest things that's happened recently was the cell surgeon has attended two expos and that is the iFest Expo and the EB Games Expo and because of that a lot of the not only do I have to develop for the game but there's a lot of things I have to prepare for it as well for the, the expos. Um, one thing that's really cool is the Facebook page has been established so the Enjoy Labs Facebook page has been created and yay we got 150 likes so far so cool but yeah now that it's now sort of revealed to public we now got this Facebook page and a lot of things are being posted up there and sort of managed so now that extra sort of upkeep of just not just working on the game but managing the Facebook side thing as well. But yeah, there's lots of stuff here from uploading the tracks and here's some recent photos on the EB Expo where a lot of people played the game and got a lot of great feedback from it. It was a three day expo and here's the booth for Enjoy Labs. So that was pretty crazy thing there. So that was that. A um, lot of new artwork coming from Ryan and also previously we also had iFest as well. So iFest was one of the first expos, a smaller expo, but it was a really nice expo to sort of get into the zone of expoing. And through iFest I learned a lot on how to improve for EB Expo. So iFest was really cool as well. And so yeah, two expos within that month it was a lot of work in preparation for it. And la 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 la, lots of content has now been made. Also a YouTube page has been established. So now at YouTube Enjoy Labs, for those who have been tuning in on the dev videos, now all the dev videos are now uploaded to YouTube. So anyone can view it now. So yeah, everything has been sort of released to the public. Otherwise, there's actually lots of changes to the actual game. And if you're just watching videos, then there's lots of changes since last time. So here we go. We've made a new menu. So this is the new menu with Dr. Rylus. And he also has these floating orbs behind him. And once we go into here, we also have a level select. So the level select has been pimped up as well. So now there's all these levels and we've got new graphic interfaces for them which makes it a bit better. And it's more stylized to the game theme as well which hopefully is good. Yeah, lots of game design changes. The most important, get, the most important thing that I discovered from the Expos was that the game sometimes gets boring at certain moments and I did a lot of tweaks to sort of minimize those boring points and one of them was probably the yellow virus was used, used to be tap eight times so now you only need to tap five times in order to collect the orb and so here's the orb the orb also have a new Oh, it's been redone as well. So the orb is now what we call a cell. So you need to collect cells. Hence the word cell surgeon. <laughs> so yeah, so now we have to collect cells. So hopefully that makes more sense-ish. And it looks very cool cell-ish as well. This actually was, looks simple, but actually was quite a complex piece to sort of make. And I might go over it in another video, but yeah, this cell was quite cool. But otherwise, if we tap that, yeah, so the game is now just basically, you need to tap 
five yellow guys in order to get the orb. Whereas previously, you need to get eight. So that's quite cool. Now, the game actually now works in two different ways. When you press next, it actually jumps straight to the next level. Now, that used to be what happened, but it actually alternates between two modes. I'll quickly show you now. Now, this is level 2. And what level 2 does is a lot of people get confused about how level 2 works. They just randomly tap colors. So, because of that, I've made a fail safe where Dr. Rylus would come in if you start not getting any score. And he says, Hey, you need to tap 5, mate, in order to get that. So, this little tool tip helped a lot of people understand how to play the game. So that was pretty cool. And he, goes, he sort of swishes out and does some very cool stuff. So, yeah, that's Dr. Rylus there. And yeah, Dr. Rylus will be popping in a bit more because you don't really see him in game much. So nobody knows what's the relationship between the doctor and the cells. The requirements are also reduced. So on the left, Previously, there was a lot of requirements, but now, in order to speed things up, the game has dropped requirements because a lot of people are putting it down when the game is too long, so the requirements has to be dropped. Now, for this time, this second level, when we press this now, instead of jumping to the next level, it actually jumps back to the menu, and there's a good reason because people start getting bored at level 2. So what can we do to make them continue playing on level 2? We go, whoa, watch out, there's a new virus here. This actually stopped a lot of people from putting down the game because after level 2 they think that, oh yeah, this is just a tapping game, I'll put it down. And just as they put it down, they see this warm icon and that triggers their curiosity and they're like, hmm, let me check out this next level. So. This mechanic was made in order to hopefully keep the player from playing. Plus it does a really cool stuff as well, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so now the game is sort of like, the new theme is you need to tap 5. So we got this new red tutorial, so the red mechanics have been changed. And these are the new red mechanics. You actually select one and it taps everyone from before. If you've watched previous videos, you know how big of a change this is compared to the old red viruses. Okay? And previously, the red, the red virus never had a tutorial, so now they have a tutorial and people are actually getting it a bit more-ish. Not really. Some people still don't get it, so I still need to work a bit on it. But the aim here is to splat five viruses. And if you splat five in a row, then you will win or drop the cell. And so the requirements have also been reduced for the reds. So all I need now is to have Dr. Rylus come up and tell you what to do if you get lost. But yeah, here's five. And then you tap on all five and it splats, that drops the orb. And hopefully it does something cool. Right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so once again, this button here actually alternates between jumping to the menu and directly skipping to the next level. Skipping directly to the next level, even though it seems very common nowadays. I didn't have it before, but I have it now. And yeah, it actually keeps the player playing a bit more, so that's quite cool. But yeah, hopefully the new theme is Collect 5. So instead of Match 3 games, it's a Match 5 game. And everything you gotta collect 5. The yellow you gotta collect 5. The red guys you gotta collect 5. And then that's pretty much it. So now, if we clear the game, and then we jump back to the menu. This will now jump back to the menu. And then once again, warm a new virus detected. The last level was the level 7. So level 7 was the bomb tutorial. So now they got proper interfaces. The bomb got changed once again. It used to have a proximity field. And now it's just going to auto self-destruct sort of thing. It's 
So the aim is basically don't touch. Oh, don't let the bombs explode. And then it's a nice tutorial. The interface on the left also adjusts. So usually it shows the cells, the orbs. But now it shows you that you cannot let the bombs explode. And this tutorial is actually very scripted, so it's not random. Until you get to a certain part, it becomes random. And you just need to keep playing and make sure you survive without getting killed. The bomb virus is what we classify as a tier 2 virus. So tier 2 virus means they're pretty deadly. But yeah, they just killed me. And to finish it off, there was a thank you page specifically for the for the expos, just to sort of give a closure to them playing the game. And then once we do that, we come back to the menu. So yeah, that's sort of where the game is sort of at right now. And there was a lot of great feedback from the expos, so now the next step is to finally move on to the next levels. It's been so long since we've been stuck at these seven levels. And hopefully it's yeah, ready to move on for the next 16 levels. So the aim is to complete the game within 20 levels. So there's seven levels so far, 13 to go. So hopefully we will be done and we'll be aiming for the end of the year. Yeah, let's do it. So, yeah, thanks for watching.